So welcome to the European Parliament and especially the ESPAS conference 2018. We have here with us Pupul Bisht. She is uh, the winner of the Next Generation Foresight Practitioners Award. So a very, very special thing. And that for a good reason, because she has promoted um, storytelling and foresight, which is a new approach, a non-European approach, and that's why we're so interested to know more about it. Pupul, can you give us a short insight on what storytelling and foresight is? Thank you, Freya, for the lovely introduction. Um, so basically, storytelling uh, plays a very big role in any conversation about the future. Because the future is not here yet, we don't have facts from the future. So how do you convince people to care about that future, to think about that future, to imagine living in that future? We do that through stories, because as humans, we're conditioned to understand things that are only part of our imagination through storytelling. But what is happening now is that the global imagination of the future is heavily dominated by a very technocratic, uh, often Eurocentric worldview. And when we do that, we're not truly shaping a future for everyone because we're leaving out communities and cultures who think about the world very differently. So my approach is actually uh, inspired by an Indian folk storytelling tradition called Kavar from Rajasthan. Um, and it helps marginalized communities to think about what does a preferable future looks to them so that they are active shapers of the future and not passive recipients or audiences to someone else's vision of the future. That is a very, very interesting approach, Thank you especially so much. As, we, as we see how um, society is developing, how the world is developing, and the global world is developing. Mm -hmm. So, to conclude, I would be curious since you've now spent one full day and nearly a second full day at ESPAS 218 what your key takeaway would be if we're looking at how to shape the future in the fast-changing world. Mm -hmm. I think in her very powerful opening remarks this morning, uh, Anne spoke about gender equality and she said that uh, as she's growing older, she's realizing that matters of equal equality are matters of democracy, but I would say matters of equality are also matters of a truly inclusive future that's representative of everyone who lives on this planet. So if you're interested in having a better future as a civilization, we need to ensure that everybody's voice is heard and everybody's opinion matters. And the second thing I would like to say um, and why I believe that looking at other worldviews is important is, um, as Lord Martin said this morning, we're destroying the book of life before we've even read it. But there are some cultures who are more in tune with nature. Um, and if we listen to them if we let them lead the way uh, we can probably think in new and exciting ways. Thank you Pulpul. It was a thank pleasure you. having you with us. Thank you so much.